even better when I got this. All right, Alex is going to start, so quiet on the set. All right, Alex, whenever you want. Oops. Cameras or phones off, everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mice in the Attic. I am your host Alex Carl and this is the show where we introduce you to new and up and coming musicians by streaming their performances live from the studio Tonal Vision here in Baltimore, Maryland. As always I encourage you to like and share this video that helps us out and please feel free to comment and ask questions in the comments section below and I'll get them over to our performers today. Today we have an indie rock band in the process of writing a brand new EP. Please help me welcome Pocket Bells. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming on the show. Of course. So I don't want to take up any more of your time, so why don't you please uh, introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about this first song that you're going to be playing. My name's Evan. <laughs> I play guitar. I'm Piper. I sing. And my name's Chris. We're Pocket Bells. Well, yes. We're half of Pocket Bells. Half of Pocket cool. Bells. And uh, this first song is called No Time. And... What is it about, actually? Well, it's just about, you know, the what you do with your time and how there just never seems to be enough of it. Yeah, and people kind of telling you you can and can't do things and um, not enough time to do them. So. Well, it sounds like a relatable problem. <laughs> I'm excited to uh, hear your take on it. Everybody enjoy No Time. Watch me drop 30 hours in On over next time Thought I'd make it big out in the real world Whoa, oh, oh. Watch me now, shine it, girl Make it till you break it, they said Get on up and take it, they said Here we go. 
beautiful. There never is enough time, is there, really? Yeah. You know, this is the best audience. I don't know if everyone can see, but there are two of the cuddliest dogs ever. <laughs> no. Penny, I felt like flirt. I was serenading. Is this Joey? That's Joey. Joey? Joey was, like, closing eyes. <laughs> yeah, they are the best audience. I love having them in here. It's like, I mean, it's kind of crowded now that there's six bodies in here. <laughs> <laughs> but they make it. So, I want to know, how did Pocket Bells get together? Tell me that right off the bat. All right, well, I, I started the band. I had a bunch of songs in my back pocket, and I went and recorded them, and uh, I guess, like, some people listened, some people liked it, so I decided to make it a thing and got the band together, and uh, we've put out uh, three EPs total. Okay, um, what was the name of that first one? Well, the first one was just self-titled, and uh, the song we just played now was from our third EP, which is our most recent one. Okay. It's time. Time. All right. Yeah. And how did you two get involved with the group? Uh, well, I initially was auditioning to be like a keyboard player slash backup vocals. And then I found out like a week before that it was lead singer. So I said, all right, well, you know, I'll still give it a try. And then uh, meanwhile, like behind the scenes, so my dad and Evan go to the same barber. And okay. Evan had told his barber that he was looking for a singer, and my dad told the barber that I'm a musician and I can sing, well, whatever he said, exactly, and then, um, so apparently this was happening, and turns out, like, we already met, and so the barber was like, hey, I got someone for you, and Evan was like, oh, I, was, I, I already met Piper. her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was funny. it was meant to be. So what, did it you put out an ad be. on, like, Facebook or something? No, no, I just, uh, was asking around my musician friends, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's really funny. And was, the barber had the right idea. He did. He did. <laughs> it was a couple years ago, and we've been making music ever since. Very cool. And how about you, Chris? How did you get involved? Um, so I, I met Evan a little over a year ago now. Yeah, in uh, Jason Cohen's basement. Yeah, in our friend's basement. <laughs> Shout out and to Jason Cohen. Yeah, we were, just, we were just hanging out, making music, and Evan was over there, and um, he was like, hey, we're looking for a keyboard player, and... Yeah. And as, as you've said, this is this is only half the band. You mm -hmm. do have three exactly. other members. Uh, so how did they get involved by similar means, just by word of mouth? And yeah, pretty much. I've been uh, our bass player. Uh, I've known for over a decade because we went to music school together and we had okay. all of our classes together. What school was that? Uh, Sorry to interrupt. Towson University. Oh, okay. I got my music degree. <laughs> And look where he is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on Mice in the Attic. The, uh -huh. the pinnacle of music success. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, it's funny. Is Piper went to the same program, but we were, were two years apart, so, so we I never knew each other in him. school. Yeah. Oh, it would have been an opportunity, I guess, to maybe meet each other in the halls or yeah. something. But... It never happened, though. No. Huh. Chris is also a music school yes. graduate. Towson? No, I went to Peabody. I studied at Peabody. Very nice. So, fun fact, he was a French horn major, and so was I. Oh, okay, interesting. So, we have two French horn players. And here you are singing. <laughs> <laughs> you are the <laughs> and Tyler, our bass player, went to Towson. And then Tyler and Paul is our guitarist. And Paul and Tyler and Evan have been in bands together. And then our drummer, Chris Barazio, I don't know how you guys came about, but he's awesome. Uh, Jason Cohen gave me his there name. You go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And actually, so did Paul, because Paul knew him. So, and, and yeah. it's just that everybody told me the same name, and I was just like, oh, And now I'm guy. stuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They seem so tough to work yeah, with. I know. It's true. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this uh, second song of yours. What's the Earth. 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 Okay. Uh, this song, so but when I first joined the band, Evan had all these instrumental tracks, and he said, all right, well, write a melody and words. And so this was one of those where he had stuff, and I think we went through like five versions. At least. At oh least. my, it was like weeks, and, um, weeks of pouring over it. And then a lot of the words, um, I kind of wrote, I write a lot of my stuff based on like boys. Um, so <laughs> this was kind of just like um, about a relationship and it just not working out, but like I kind of wish them well, and also about a relationship where um, the boy was just troubled and so you know like it's like I hope you're happier now kind of thing I don't know that's that was kind of the underlying meaning but it has so many meanings that can be taken away from it so well I look forward to dissecting the whole Thank thing you. everybody this is earth <laughs>
lovely. That was fantastic. Ending on a high note. It's gonna be stuck in my head all the time. Thank you. Good. <laughs> so, where does that song fit in with your uh, current discography? Well, uh, what uh, EP or album? That was our, our second one. That was our middle one called okay. uh, Days and Nights. Okay, so run through me all the ones that you have because it's pretty extensive at this point. <laughs> uh, well, we've got uh, our first EP, our second EP, Days and Nights, our third EP, Time. Time. We, we put out a single this year called Just for Tonight. Yeah. Okay. And now EP four will be on the way. It's on the yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. By the end of the year. I'm excited to hear more about this uh, EP that you're working on, and you're in the writing phase right now, right? So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that process for you. So normally uh, what would happen, like, so like, like I said about Earth, when I came in, Evan had all these instrumental tracks, and I kind of just was like, oh, okay, well, I'll write melodies and words, and then we work together and figure that out, and now we're kind of doing things a little different, just because we have like a, a great group of guys and me, and um, so we all kind of sit in the room together and just sort of, I, like, Evan will come to the table with, like, a little melody or some kind of concept, and then we'll build on that, and everyone's kind of pitching in. And at that point, what we've been trying to do is just we create the instrumental track, and then we'll go back and we'll do the lyrics, kind of like what we used to do. But this time, instead of, like, the instrumentals coming from maybe just Evan or having already been composed, we're doing it together, and then we'll do the words later. So you're expanding it to include... The writing process, that is, to include all six members yeah. of the yeah. band, whereas m usually it would have been you writing the instrumentals and you writing the lyrics then. Yeah. Very well, it was cool. like kind of a collaboration. I mean, we both would do it. So now we're... Right. Well, the fun part about this is because uh, we all are very collaborative with the writing process, and everybody just wants to jam. So every week we can get together and just... And, and I think that's something that's missing in, with a lot of people is you get busy with life, and nobody just gets together and have, has a jam session. But everybody in this group is down to do that. So we can just go and play for fun, and there's no pressure to, like, hey, we have to finish a song tonight, because we're just playing, and we have the next week's schedule, too, of, like, you know, just, just keep coming up with ideas. And I guess that takes the pressure out of it and allows for more exactly. creativity to kind of blossom in that sort of scenario. Exactly. Well, most like of the it. guys in this band are, I mean, that's what they do. I mean, he's a musician full-time, and their drummer is, and... Tyler works in a music store. Yeah, and uh, you're an engineer, and, well, Paul and I work in finance, so <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where we got that, but, uh, but, you know, we all, like, we're all involved in different projects, so it's nice just to, you know, have everyone come together and be able to, you know, immerse themselves in it, as opposed to just being dictated as to what to do, so sure. I think... I think it's working so far, at least. We've written yeah. you know, a couple cool things. So Very cool. Yeah. How many uh, songs do you think that the EP will be uh, at the end of the day? I'm hoping for three or four. Three or four? Yeah, yeah. we usually aim for four. Any completed as of right now? Not completed. Three three quarters. Three quarters. Three quarters. <laughs> three, quarters. <laughs> three quarters. Very cool. Do you have um, a specific uh, time of the year where you're seeing to get that out there, or is it just more like you're saying, like, we're jamming, we're going to figure uh, it out? Yeah, exactly. I mean... I'd like to do it by the end of the summer, but you can't rush the creative process, and I don't want no. to. No, no, you wouldn't I want to rush it. Let's just make it good, and we'll record it when it's ready. That's fantastic. No, I like that mindset. That takes the pressure off a whole lot, that's exactly. for sure. Yeah. Are there any common uh, themes that you find coming up while you're writing, or is it all kind of just this song's about this, or this song's about this, or are, are there any consistent themes even throughout one whole song, or do most of the songs themselves have different themes um, throughout? you know, each individual track. I try to keep it consistent, but hey, it's up to the interpretation <laughs> of the listener. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I think Evan writes a lot about just daily life things that, you know, he'll write down things that he yeah. is experiencing or occurring. I mean, we even wrote our song Turnaround was based off an email of his. So, like, Sorry. a lot of the lyrics just came from that, but um, I know most of my lyrics will either come from similar concepts, but a lot of relationship stuff. I don't know why, I just find it really easy to write about. Sadness. <laughs> but um, I think we don't really write like based on like a concept. They're not concept EPs. They're more so like vibes. So I would say, you know, um, I wasn't involved with the first EP, but the second one was more so like orchestral. It was very, um, just very detailed and like instrumental based with, you know, song incorporated lyrics and then the third one time that was more electric so everything had more of like an electric feel a little bit less of like all the orchestra type sounding sounds but we still had like strings and a couple like little french horn stuff on there but 
just I think now the next one I'm not sure what the vibe is yet but it'll probably be something We're figuring out just something a little different from those two so, really cool yeah. well I look forward to hearing it whenever it's done you gotta send me a link oh yeah we yeah. will no we won't <laughs> uh, no. Evan you gotta send me a link I'm not I don't know I answer it okay. <laughs> she says no Oh, all right, well then I guess I'll just have to find it by some other means. <laughs> <laughs> so how about this uh, third song of yours? Why don't uh, you tell me about it? What It Feels Like. Yes. Um, this is a song I wrote just kind of about like when, when two people don't agree and how sometimes it can be an unfortunate situation where just nobody wins. Oh, one of those stalemate yeah. sort of situations. Yeah. Remind me the name of it. What It Feels Like. What It Feels Like. Everybody enjoy What It Feels Like by Pocket Bells. <laughs> me whole again I was young so I played along cause I live life like a life like animal all a bit like an 80s kid pull up grow up pull up grow up take my hammer take my nails run away run away run away Expecting that abrupt stop at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, what album or EP was that on? Uh, that was on Days and Nights. Second one. Very Second cool. One, yes. And where can we find all these EPs and albums? Oh, everywhere. You know, Spotify, iTunes, all the Bandcamp. Bandcamp. And then we have links to all of it on our website, PocketBells.com. And then on Facebook, uh, we post things all the time, Instagram and Twitter. So we try and be a little bit of everywhere. Very cool. Are you also uh, on YouTube? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that one. Yeah, we have some videos up there. Uh, always trying to get more. It's just um, 
it's hard sometimes because a lot of the venues when we put you know we try and do it ourselves just you know we're and GoPros. doing our thing and yeah. so like we do gopros but then a lot of venues like i have my iphone like a stand but the bass is so like it vibrates so much that i go to look at the videos afterwards and they're just and you see it <laughs> like <laughs> they're like that so you know it's hit or miss but we try and post the ones that come out well so sure so have any of these songs that you have uh, performed for us thus far been on wtmd because i understand that you have a pretty good relationship with WTMD. Uh, for those of you at home who are not familiar, uh, WTMD is Towson University's local radio station and they pride themselves on giving exposure to uh, local artists such as Pocket Bells. And uh, you've been on their um, on the air with them quite a few times and you've won awards with them and tell us a little bit about that. Well the last song to answer your question was in rotation for about a year on the station which is really cool and uh, it's always surprising. Um, but yeah, we we had uh, done the uh, block party in 2017, mm -hmm. and we won the uh, Baker Grant for best performance. Congratulations! Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah it was, was really shocking. <laughs> Very unexpected. Yeah, yeah, it's really crazy. <laughs> we had just like come together as a band, so it was one of like the bigger performances that we had. So yeah, it so was cool. that was really cool. And let's see, uh, the next song we're going to play was uh, voted. Number twenty top song of the year last year by the listeners. Oh wow! Which is also again. yeah, really crazy. Like, you know, what? <laughs> <laughs> but all very thankful that that people are listening. Um, so it's just yeah. great to have a platform like WTMD who are so supportive of local artists. And they and really are. They really are. They are. And really great to work with, and they provide so many opportunities. So it's fun. I think Fantastic. Baltimore. Baltimore's lucky to have a station like that here. Yeah, I think so too. Other cities don't have that. No, it's taken, you know, it's kind of taken for granted, and they're so popular, too. So, I mean, it's not just like, um, oh, you know, you were on this station, and you had circulation, whatever, nobody heard it. I mean, like, this, that's, they're a big station, probably one of the largest in the, in the area. Uh, so, I mean, that's, yeah. that must have been a huge following that you got from, from those songs it being cool. there. It's yeah. been, it's been great, so. And you've had a total of, of three singles mm -hmm. on circulation there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, the other one was called Middle, and that was on the first EP. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, if we're not looking to, uh, find you online or on the radio, where can we, uh, see you play live? What upcoming shows have you got? We have a couple of acoustic shows. I know we have one at Loyola, right? Yeah, we're doing an on-campus Loyola set uh, next week. This is, it would be the 21st of right. March. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we have another one in April at the wind-up space? No. You're, April. Is that May? That's May. That's May. That's May. <laughs> but in April... <laughs> In April, April 11, we're playing full band, six-piece electric band, uh, at the Pie Shop yes. in D.C. Oh, so exciting. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're really excited. The full band electric is always really fun in the Pie Shop. It'll be our first time playing there. And it's Pie Day. Today's oh, right, Pie Day. Today's Pie Day. Happy Pie Day, Pie Day everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then we have an acoustic one in May at the Wine of Chase, and then we mm -hmm. have... One there will be an June. announcement for June. Yes, <laughs> something cool. happening in June. Something in June. Yes. But at least a show a month uh, yeah, for the next much. few months. Yeah, and yeah. we post that, uh, we'll, we always post updates on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we always have it up on our website so you can find it very easily. And if you're like, hey, when are you playing next? I mean, you can just message us too. I'll, I'll answer. Yeah, we, he might answer. We answer uh, he won't answer. answer. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you taking your space, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, we only have time for, I think, one more song. Cool. So why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about it, and uh, we'll get you going. So we're going to play Two Stop Train. This one's currently in rotation with the fine folks at WTMD. Uh, and uh, Two Stop Train, I wrote a lot of these lyrics kind of about, I don't know, I guess about the struggle that I face as a musician and maybe some of the self-doubt that comes with being an artist. And you ask yourself a lot of these questions, like, what am I doing? And I just kind of wrote about that a little bit. And then I think, because uh, I, I kind of came up with the idea of the two-step train. I don't know where it came from, mm -hmm. but it just happened. And then I think we, I don't know, I think the idea sort of then became, like, you veer away and try things, but then, you know, you might go away or leave or travel or something, but you come back, you know, it's always nice to come back home and to kind of get back to your roots, so. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, as heard on WTMD, here is Two Stop Train by Pocket Bells. <laughs> I'm 
among the stars But how do I prove this? We could be so much bigger But when do I risk it? Well, thank you so much again for coming on the show. This has been a real treat for us. Thanks for having us. This is fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so before we uh, wrap it up, is there anything that you would like to say to uh, anybody watching uh, before we sign off? Well, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Hi, Ma! <laughs> <laughs> no, just thank you, everyone, for all your support um, over the past couple of years. And thank you guys for giving us a platform to share our music and be able to post another video online. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Happy to help. <laughs> Happy to contribute to the content. Thank you awesome. very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Well, everybody at home, thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again in two weeks for a new episode of Mice in the Attic, and give it up for Pocket Bells. Thank you. All right. And cut. <laughs> All right.